What's up, YouTube? Lil Mitchell, Tank and Man of Battle Tanks. Got one of my first prototypes out. Uh, having some issues through a fuel pump. We just rigged this up temporary. Uh, I'm embarrassed to even show that, but it was, you know, we're, I'm just started filming as I'm going. Uh, I, like, I don't have the stuff here, and I want to try to get this video up today. Anyhow, we're getting ready to recondition this, so I'm going to take it for another little spin. We're still having issues with the throttle. Uh, it, somebody messed with the throttle, and it's all, you know, they cut parts, bent things, and the governor isn't quite working right with all of that. It looks a little weak, but the motor, you know, it's been setting for a year, and we're trying to work out the bugs. All right, so let me get in here, fire this up, and... Uh, Take it around for a spin in this field and climb up on these logs.
I'm gonna get a shot while I'm here of the uh, steel track. You can see here is the steel track. Got a steel flat bar. That's a pretty tough track. Uh, since I went to this track, I never throw a track in any condition. And now I'll probably throw a track. We'll see. Right here, we got our uh, 7 16 uh, three ply. The bottom side is like a quarter inch ply. Three sixteenths. You see here, uh, we got three, four, and then this would be five. The, the outside ones hold it together. This set up here with the plate on top sandwiched together and bolted with the link. Uh, we, we hooked it to a post and a fork truck and then we cranked it with the come along and we drug the fork truck so and then we tried to uh, pull it with the fork truck it'll just sit there and spin so uh, even as soft as this is that tearing in the joint wasn't an issue and then as you see uh, this is the depth as where your hose get drilled and then I'm going to show you how all this goes together uh, you pre-drill your uh, spacings that you want for your track lugs. Uh, we went with the uh, metal plates to make the softer rubber uh, a little more rigid. And it works so good, uh, we, we haven't thrown the track since. It just adds a lot of weight to your track. But anyway, here we go. You got your rubber. Then you have to punch your hose or drill your hose into your uh, flat plate. And then you got your lugs, two inch angle. You'll just bend whatever degree you want or cut however width you want. And then they're placed on here. We got two holes punched. One is to plug weld onto the flat plate. And the second one, we drill all the way through both. It uses to help mark everything. And then we drill through. So that's how you secure this setup to the plate. And when you're done, it'll look like this. I'm winging this. So it's, you see they're plug welded on. So that prevents them from spinning after they're on the tank. And then uh, you'll have your hose pre-drilled in here. And everything's pre-punched or drilled in here and you just set them on and you bolt them now on the back side you just take a plate like this you just drill your hose and then it just sandwiches in between this will go under and then every other one this one here will get drilled and bolted on and then you'll have another uh, track lug there'll be about a 16th gap in between. And you have to have that little gap just for, a, if you don't, you don't get enough arc around this. Uh, it's about a 10 and a half or 12 inch radius. The outside of this is like 13 inches. The rubber will bend more one direction than the other, depending on what side the uh, layers are. Your uh, or nylon layers. Every one will get one of these underneath on the back side. What will happen, you drill your hose in this. You'll have your hose and your plate. It sets on there. And then it'll go right underneath on the opposite side. It'll look like this. If this was here and that is there. And then your bolts go through. Because if they ever need to come off, they're probably going to have to be cut off anyway, and that's no problem. You can still cut the bolt and reuse all your pieces. They should never have to come off unless you're having trouble. But anyway, you have uh, your flat plate. It's an eighth. And then you got your 3 sixteenths uh, angle iron bent about an inch up. Uh, I'm not sure the degrees, whatever you determine is good for you. And then uh, we got our plug welded onto the top plate. And this here just keeps the, it helps protect the uh, rubber and it keeps the rubber from twisting side to side and protects the rubber from punctures or rocks. 
which this stuff can handle most anything. 